waiting to catch the so-called freedom train. Passengers gather at this informal station in Calgary Park each day to take the only commuter train in Zimbabwe. The 20-kilometer ride ends in the country's second largest city, Bulawayo, which used to be its industrial hub. The government revived the route in an effort to provide a crucial lifeline for struggling commuters. So let's just say the NRZ came like a savior to the people of Bulawayo because now you can work for something more reasonable. You don't have to work for transport only. The service was suspended for 13 years under former President Robert Mugabe's rule and was only revived in November. Zimbabwe, once known as the breadbasket of Africa, saw its economy crippled during Mugabe's decades-long rule, contributing to his downfall in 2017. Despite new leadership under President Emerson Mnangagwa, the cost of living has continued to skyrocket, boosting demand for the newly reinstated train from commuters desperate to make it to work. So dollar fifty is very expensive for us. So on a train, it's better because it's fifty cents. Fifty cents is less. So you can have change and you can have some bread, or you can buy bread and vegetable for your children at home sometimes. But things are very, very tough now for us. It's not easy for us to leave. Though the train provides much needed relief for commuters, some worry the service will not last and are urging government to think about a long-term strategy. With the moment, with the challenges we have, maybe if they, they were going to reduce the price of fuel so that this combi can also adjust on the price of fuel. The age train system might be overcrowded and only transport passengers to and from County Park once a day. But for now, it's the best and only option they've got.